Hello and welcome to another video. And we are back in London with Ben. Yeah. Whoa, it's really heavy. <laughs> We're going to be doing another raw workout video. We did a push workout the other day. You guys loved it. Feedback was sick. Like, that was fun. I'm glad. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I enjoy that video. It was fun. I enjoy making the video. So I'm good. I'm good. I'm glad you guys liked it. We're going to do some more. Today's going to be a pull workout, yes. aka juicy back. Rear delts and biceps. You excited? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back is back's quite a fun one. I like. I like. I, like okay, I need to communicate that excitement uh, more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo! Ow! <laughs> that was hollow. That was hollow. <laughs> if you are excited, drop it a like. Let's get to the gym. Workout ritual initiate, aka Morsi Energy. In a taxi, the taxi part is not usual, but we're sitting here anyway, so I figured we might as well have two birds with one stone. By the way, on the topic of Morsi Energy, we've got a massive restock coming any day now, so it should be in by the time you watch this, which means WH Smith's fully stocked, our website fully stocked, Amazon, if not today, any day now, fully stocked. So be ready to go. Today's workout is going to be a pull workout from the Morsi app. Again, as always, the top link in the description will take you to the Morsi app. You can get a free seven day trial. So go and get it right now. Ben, why should everyone go and get a free seven day trial of the Morsi app? Because it's free. I mean, literally nothing is free these days. You can just get it for free. If you don't like it, you don't lose anything. I think, I think people don't realize that, right? So when you go to get a free trial, we get your card details. We're not charging you. That's just like security. Your seven Days, you can get to day six and like hour 23 and then just cancel and you don't get charged. If you get the free trial and it's genuinely not for you, it doesn't cost you any money, but I'm telling you that won't be the case. Like you will, yeah, if you do a free trial of the Morse rep and you don't like it, you're literally a psychopath because it's <laughs> unbelievably good. We've had like literally thousands of ridiculous testimonies, thousands of unbelievable Just go and look at the app store reviews, mate. Yeah, go and look yeah, at the app store yeah, reviews, yeah. they're wild. Yeah. Like, I'm telling you the app is outrageous. It will literally change your life. So we have two pull workouts a week now, whereas with the push workouts, one is chest focused, one is shoulder focused. Not quite the same with pull we have one that's like slightly more horizontal row focus and one is slightly more vertical row but we'll talk about that when we get into <laughs> oxygen <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when you drive on, <laughs> on when we get into the gym uh, it should be good we're like 10 minutes away see you there exercise one single arm dumbbell row as with any workout, you want to start with a nice heavy compound. You leave the isolation stuff to later. Single arm row is a great one. There's not, not many, but this is one of the unilateral movements, which means like one side at a time. One of the unilateral movements that allows you to lift heavier. Doing a single arm dumbbell row, you can lift heavier than if you were doing two arms at the same time. Just in terms of like ability to stabilize with the other hand, there's loads of reasons, but just, just do it, right? It makes sense. We're going to go four sets. Because it's our first movement and because it's heavy, we're gonna go for a slightly lower rep range, probably somewhere between six and 10 reps. Set one, I'm gonna go a little bit lighter. I'm gonna feel my way into the exercise. Because with this, as with lots of things, you can go heavy, but if you go too heavy, you're gonna negate the contraction that you're looking for. By the way, we're wearing straps because if you're training your back, you're training your lats, then not wearing straps is essentially moronic. Like, unless you're trying to train your forearm, you want to wear straps. If you, if you don't wear straps, as soon as you get fatigued, your forearm and your ability to hold the weight is going to be your limiting factor rather than like fatigue in your back. Yeah, so like by a bigger muscle group should be determining the fatigue level effectively, rather than your forearm being the limiting factor. Yeah, so if you wear straps, essentially, you're not even holding the dumbbell, it's just hanging in your hand, and it means you can keep going until your lat gets fatigued and your grip is no longer limiting. Two types of straps, you get standard straps. These are figure eight straps. Link in the description to the lifting range. They're just really easy, obviously, with like standard straps, you've got to wrap them round a bit of a ball like these you just put it on loop your hand through and you're good to go so what we're doing here and this is really really important right this rowing actually you should be thinking about driving your hand and your elbow towards your pocket a lot of people and i used to do it as well is I, you row 
people roll like this, this movement yeah. here. There's a couple of issues with this. Firstly, right, your lat goes from here, right, and it goes and it attaches here, okay? As soon as your arm gets behind your body, your lat is no longer working. And people think, oh, I'm gonna roll, I'm gonna really drive my elbows back. Your lat is not doing that, all right? It's, it's other muscle groups doing that. So your lat is responsible for shoulder adduction, which is this, and shoulder extension, which is this. Nothing behind there. So by, by driving this way, you're maximizing that part of the movement. You're also taking out other body parts. So for example, when you row like this, the, the action of retracting your scapula and pulling back here is like rhomboids, it's traps, it's other muscle groups other than your lats. So if we're trying to hit our lats by rowing and pulling down towards your hip, down towards your pocket, that, and you initiate the movement by pulling back rather than up, and that immediately takes the emphasis off your rhomboids and your traps and puts it onto your lats. Yeah, no, that's it. yeah, that's, it. that's good, good, yeah. There you go, you see the difference in that immediate bit. Like, think about lower lats. If you're not sure of what weight to lift, just ear on the side of going lighter. You could obviously always a good, um, do a few more reps and go heavier if you need to. A good bit of advice as well for unilateral exercises is to start with your, if you have a weaker side, to start with that and let that determine the reps for the strong for the other side. Nice, come on, Matt. So I used to really struggle to engage my, when you hit, I was about to say lower lats, when you train your lats, as with any muscle group, you can't hit your lower lat versus your upper lat. You could emphasize slightly more, but it's still hitting your lat as a whole. However, my lower lats are pretty poor and it's something that I've not really felt a good contraction in for a long time. Now, the, the cue for me of pulling down towards my hip and pocket rather than up, that's been like a game changer. Yeah, that's it, yeah, nice, 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 nice. Pull, yeah, forearm like towards my hand here. Like, so like arc, arc. Go like back first, then up. Back first. Yeah, nice. You're like really exaggerating this bit behind your torso, yeah. which isn't hitting your lap. So I think we go heavier. That's gonna fatigue first. Yeah. So at the moment, you, should, yeah, you shouldn't be able to do this, basically. You should be, like, that should be hard, whereas for you it's not, because you're going beyond that every single rep. I've gone heavier. <laughs> also, why well, have you just followed me there and back and done nothing? I'm there moral support. Absolutely <laughs> waste of space. Oh, easy, come on. Nice, come on, come on, come on. Nice. Come on, come on. Come on. Nice. Almost sounds funny. Counterintuitive. I almost like going too heavy on these because then it really emphasises that part of the movement. Or oh, so you're not like dragging it back. Or well, like I said, in terms of lats, this is lat. This is not lat. So doing the 40s, like with Ben's, for example, because it's too light, he's really doing that. Half of that movement is not what we're looking yeah. for. Do you know what I mean? Whereas here, because it's heavy, you can't do that. So it really emphasizes you can't the lat element of it. <laughs> that was, I can't get this. Yeah, nice. No, that's, that was the one. That was it. That was it. That's it. Yeah, so it's not bending your elbow too much. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, nice. nice yeah. Pull back. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Back. Back more. Yeah. Come on. All right, nice, come on. Nice, come on, man. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Last set of these, come on. Good, come on. The other as well, advantage to unilateral exercises, i.e. one arm at a time, is just to help minimize his imbalances. Again, any time you have a fixed barbell or a machine, the weaker side is gonna do less work. Here, it can't because you can literally count, you can do 10 reps on both sides and then your, you know the weaker side's doing yeah, the same. If you le let your weaker side lead, basically. All right, come on, last <sighs> few reps, come on, man. Uh, 
At the bottom, Ben, get a big stretch. Let yes. the shoulder drop because we're only doing this. It's not a, it's not a huge range of motion, so yeah. you want to get as much as you can. Well, there's like an important distinction as well between a full stretch and like swinging it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like it's easy. Yeah, I'm doing to... a dead stop between yeah. my legs. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. <coughs> nice one. Pull back. <sighs> Come on. Pull back. That was, that was close to your foot, by the way. <laughs> yeah, that's actually done, by the way. That's a centimetre from your toe. <laughs> okay, exercise two is going to be a seated lat pull down now. Very basic premise. In the same way that in a push workout, we would flick between a press and a fly, here we're going to flick between a horizontal row. So what we just did there was pretty much a horizontal row. What we're gonna do now is like a vertical row. So basically we're pulling down versus pulling in. Come on, Matt. Lean back a little bit more so you're pulling in rather than behind you. There you go, yeah, 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 yeah. So control the eccentric man. Nice. So in terms of grip, we're kind of going for a mid-grip. So there's pros and cons, right? If you go super close or even like here, there's loads of elbow flexion, which means your biceps are gonna get involved. If you go super wide, there's far less elbow flexion so it's gonna be less biceps getting involved. However, when you're out here, you have very limited range of motion. So a mid grip is kind of like the best of both worlds. All right, keep going. Come on. Come on, come on. Come on. So again, trying to focus on this part rather than this part, because that part is not what we're after. Lean back a tiny bit, because otherwise your elbows are behind you. Like trying to avoid elbows behind you, do you know what I mean? And make it into more of a row. If you look at videos on my channel with Ben from like two, three years ago, the difference in your form is drastic. Yeah, yeah. I've... Significantly better. Well... Mm. Yeah, come on, come on. Yeah. Nah. Nah. Your lat does shoulder adduction, so this, and shoulder extension, so this. So a lat pull down is combining both of those movements. Ooh, okay, so last set, so Ben's gonna spot me here. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. One more, come on, come on. Do the least possible. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Imagine you got a pound for every time Ben shouted, come on. Be absolutely loaded. So Ben, just, just lean back, just lean back a time so it's not, when you're upright, you end up going like here. So just like lean forward, back a time so it's more of a towards you rather than behind you. Come on, let's go. Yeah, 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 two more. Yeah. Let's go, come on. All you, let's go. Pull, pull, pull. One more, one more, one more, one more, one more. <laughs> what the hell, mate? That's, That's bad, example. you met you. When someone says one more, you have to do one more. There's a good example of the forearm thing there. So there, my, yeah. that was the, so my forearms. Oh, it's going rough, it? it doesn't learn. One, there'll be some time. <laughs> Maybe when he gets to mid thirties, he'll realise. Oh yeah, Matt's right about everything. I am like Mr. Jim Esker, by the way. You will never catch me leaving anything anywhere. Right, Ben, say what you just told me. <laughs> well, pretty serious forearm pump. Ben huh? comes over and says, "I have a crazy forearm pump." This is exactly what I'm talking about, right? If you are trying to grow and train your forearms as a priority, great, don't use straps. If you want to train your back, wear straps. Otherwise, you just train your forearms and... Win every arm wrestler you ever have with Matt, so... <laughs> Third and final back exercise. 
is a cable lat pushdown. Now this is an isolation movement, whereas the previous two were compounds because they're using multiple muscle groups here. Because it's fixed and the movement is this, all you're using is your lat. So it's a really nice one to put in there if you struggle to engage your lats because there's no elbow flexion, nothing's happening other than your humerus coming down to your body. So it's all lats if you do it properly. But you'll see the degree of elbow flexion. So how bent my elbows are doesn't change. If I was doing this, then my biceps are getting involved and we're gonna go for four sets of a higher rep range between like ooh, uh, 12 and maybe 16. Lean a bit more hard, so a little bit. There you go, yeah, nice, nice bit. Squeeze lats, mate, squeeze lats. Bro Science 101, just push your fingers into the muscle someone's work. If you're new to training and you don't know what it feels like to engage your lat, you get someone to press it or look yeah. in a mirror and contract yeah. it, then you can associate your lat contracting with the feeling of your lat contracting and you can replicate it in an exercise. Really important you're strict on an isolation move, otherwise it defeats the object. Don't think about coming past here, yeah? You're literally, you the squeeze and stop when you get to here. There you go, yeah. And like elbows into your body, do you know what I mean? Come, sorry, come and try and do it. Ben was planning on spotting me like this, mate. Oh, what like are you doing? Time. What are you doing? Get away from me right now. Okay, last set. So this is gonna be the RP10, RP11, mate. Balls out set, nothing left. All right, last set. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, Matt. Two more, yeah, help me. Come on, come on. Bam. Come on, come on, come on. All right, one more, come on. Come on, come on. <laughs> right, do you, know, do you know what's distracting me there? The more I'm pulling it, the closer Ben's hand is getting to my wiener. Well, I can't commit to the rep because I can't win, do you know what I mean? I get a better rep, but Ben's hand is literally that close to my wiener. Go, come on, squeeze the bottom. <clears throat> Let's go, come on, two more. Got it, pull, 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 pull. Last one, squeeze, pull, come on, let's go, pull. All right, baby, that is back, lats, done. Why wouldn't you do deadlift on back there? A bit of a contentious area, right? People that say that deadlift is a great way to build your lats, like, that's bullshit. Like, it's not. If you think about range of motion, so lats do play a little role in like, this movement, but it's such a minor, minor role. Like a deadlift is predominantly a posterior chain, predominantly a hamstring and glute exercise, okay? It's the, the, especially, I mean, sumo deadlift, yeah, there's, so there's assume, zero yeah. back engagement, but with a conventional deadlift, it's predominantly glutes and hamstrings. So if you're deadlifting to build your lats, stop doing that. <laughs> right, so exercise four is our first rear, or our only rear delt exercise. Now, your rear delts, that's the back of your shoulder. Obviously, technically part of your shoulder. The reason we train it with back rather than shoulders is that most back movements are gonna involve a little bit of rear delt engagement. And therefore, if you were to train it in shoulders, you end up hitting your rear delts like three or four times a week. So it makes sense to put it in a back workout because then your rear delts get hit and then your other days they get to recover. So as well as pulling back, just externally rotate a li just a little bit. So like you're doing this and this a little bit, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, there you go, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's rear delts, mate. <clears throat> right, so rear delts, two main functions, shoulder extension, but in like a, this kind of horizontal plane. So basically rear delts do this, but they also do some external rotation of the shoulder. So a face ball combines both of those factors because you've got that horizontal extension combined with an external rotation. Mm. 
with this, yeah? If you go too heavy, you can still perform the movement. Yeah. What you do is you do this kind of shrug. Yeah. And if you look at my back, this is like a rhomboid trap movement. So you end up training your traps and rhomboids, not your rear delts. So drop the weight light enough that it allows you to do this without shrugging that shoulder. And do a little bit of that as well. A little bit of external rotation, a little bit, yeah. There you go, yeah. I still think you're, I still think you're rowing it a bit too much. Yeah. Like ra rather than thinking about a row, think about like a, like a, a fly, you know what I mean? Yeah. This is basically, a, you're, you're trying to do a fly movement. Okay, okay. final set, uh, just give me a spot on the last few reps. <clears throat> Ideally here, like I wanted to have a bench, right? Because you want to be chest supported, because otherwise you have to lean back to stabilize. And then like there, you lean back too much, you lose balance. When you have a bench to lean against, it's much easier. But the benches here don't come all the way up. So yeah, we have no choice. So think about fly, fly your elbows rather than pulling. Yeah, and then combine that with a little bit of external rotation. Whoa, 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 go back in there right now. What are you doing? Get back on there right now. It's absolutely not happening. Let's go. Come on. Come on, don't be a melt. Let's go. Fly and then externally rotate a little bit. Let's go, keep going, come on. Five more, ready? Let's go. Yeah, one, let's go. Two, control the eccentric. Three, fly. That last one, rotate and then fly. Let's go, go, go. Pull, 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 pull. All right. Okay. I've been saying this for years. I'm glad I'm finally getting recognised. Compulsory, Ben, for all lifting. <laughs> Thank you for okay? understanding. Top link in the description. <laughs> Go and get involved. <laughs> right, just stop filming Ben. Ben's ejected. <laughs> nah, come on, you want some sweet footage of Right, this biceps. First bicep exercise is going to be a standing, alternating, unilateral dumbbell curl. Basically just a dumbbell curl. So this, we're going to do two bicep exercises. This is going to be a slightly heavier, lower rep one. So probably eight to 12. I think these dumbbells are too light, but we're going to have a short recovery here. I was getting loads of comments on the last video about recovery. For your heavier compounds, like the first couple of exercises of a session, two, three, maybe even four minutes if you really need it to hit the appropriate RPE. When you get onto the more isolation movements, like this, and like the rear delt exercise we just did, you can have like right down to a minute. Yeah, any less than that is <sighs> more cardio to a, to a degree, basically. Like if you drop below that one yeah. minute line, it starts <sighs> becoming like a, like a circuit. Do you think I'll get it? Yes, a muscle up, mate. You were pathetic. Never, you never done one. Never you do about 400 pull ups, mate. If you can't do a muscle up, there's something seriously wrong with okay. your mechanic. CJ, am I going to be able to do it? If ben does a muscle up right now. You have to do a seven day free trial on the mortar out. <laughs> I don't think okay? I can do it. I don't think I can do if it. If Ben doesn't do a muscle up, fine. Don't do it, ignore <laughs> it. If ben does one, this is, you, this is a deal now. This is your hand, we're shaking. <laughs> Top link in the description, you have okay. to sign up. Seven day free trial, let's okay. go. Okay, What's Ben, the, mate, you better do give one. Give me some pointers here. I don't know. I'm, why are you asking me? <laughs> the worst people. Uh, teeny bit, a bit wider, a bit wider. Get up, get up. Yes. yes. <laughs> Cleanest muscle up you've ever seen. <laughs> Textbook form. Welcome to the Morse app, baby. Let's go. Top link in description. <laughs> oh, ben, mate, do your set. That's about 15 minutes between sets. We've never trained little with Ben warm again. Up, little warm up, little warm-up. Right, let's go. <laughs> right, keep your elbows close to your body. Okay, so like real basic bicep fundamentals, like obviously your bicep is responsible for flexing your elbow. Your bicep bends your elbow, okay? So same with triceps in the last video. What you don't want to do is this. You're trying to isolate elbow flexion. So you're doing this, you're not doing this. 
Any kind of swinging just negates some of that vital engagement. The reason we're doing them like this, by the way, so we're doing here and then we're doing this. So it's a little bit of supination as well as flexing your elbow, your bicep also supinates your forearm. So this movement here, if you look at my bicep, that's contracting my bicep. So by doing this, we're combining elbow flexion with forearm supination, which you know is the two things your bicep does. The magical the glue. Bicep. The glue that knits it all together. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, hello. Uh, CJ? You ring, the last, you ring the bell to start bicep. We don't like to set something like an alarm. Go. That's really Go, loud. begin. First rep. <laughs> Bring it for every rep. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta hold the rep until I hit the bell. Wait a minute, I can see my periphery. That's not being absolute. <laughs> <laughs> they've, wow. got, uh, they've got boxes over there. You can rename the video, Breaking the wow. Vertical Jump World Record. They've got boxes over there. <laughs> Come on. Just give me your set, mate. Hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> Coming in? Coming in hot? Smash the lens <laughs> with the dumbbell, then. That'll be fine. You have a tendency to initiate the movement by doing that. Like a bit of a row. Like a well, you just, it's just less elbow flexion. Like you're doing this. So you're okay, sort of like, so not, not this much, but you're, that's, you're doing more like a, like a rolling curl, whatever it's called, rather than like this. So just don't do that. It's only like, like this much. Yeah, yeah. Come on, Matt, come on. Just don't let it always go back. Yeah, so I think about almost coming forwards a bit, then you end up being straight. Just at the very, very beginning, that's it, not the rest of it. Yeah. Okay, final set. I'm gonna go behind you or in front of you. <laughs> Is that a real question? Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, right. come on, 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 Let's go, come on, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I hope you know, let's go, I hope you, come on. Go, other side, let's go. Thanks for getting the door, we appreciate that. <laughs> You'll be all right. <laughs> okay, second bicep exercise and final exercise of the session, dumbbell spider curl. We're gonna do four sets of a pretty high Rep range. We're just trying to absolutely f our biceps up, mate. Mm. You see, we're doing the same thing. You're starting by doing that. Almost do the opposite. Think about coming forwards a bit. Don't bring your elbows back. There you go. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. More importantly, sorry, stop, turn around quickly. Turn around, turn around, turn around. <laughs> I refuse to wear something until it's broken. Nah, yeah, if it's functional. It literally it's is broken. If it's functional, it's not broken. The reason we're doing a spider curl, so we've just done a movement, a curl, with our upper arm, our humerus, by our sides, right? I said it in the push video in relation to triceps. Biceps are the same. You want to hit elbow flexion with your humerus in different starting positions. So this would be like option one, i.e. the curl we did a minute ago. Option two would be something like a spider curl where your arms are out in front. And then option three would be uh, like an incline bench curl where your arms are behind you. So again, you're, you're covering all the baskets. You're basically manipulating the strength curve. Essentially, depending on where your upper arm is, the movement is going to be harder at certain positions. Okay, so by doing this and bringing your arm out in front, you're, you're changing the resistance at different parts of the movement. So again, it just goes back to covering all bases. 
Did you say cover all baskets at one point in there? Yeah. Pretty cover sure basket. he said pop. Yeah. I've got, I've got all my all baskets, baskets here. I, I want the baskets say. covered. CJ, is I don't, I don't have any s*** <laughs> in my baskets, mate. <laughs> wait, 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 I don't want wait, wait, wait. I don't <laughs> any s*** in my baskets. <laughs> I'm covering all of them. Your half your baskets are empty. <laughs> There's little kids in there. Your ferrets, ferrets, weasels are in there. Mine are all clear because I've covered all of them. Nice, that's good. That's step one, cover all baskets. It actually does, this feels good, you know, when you actually bring it forward. Like, you do feel it quite a lot. Yeah, that's because you're hitting your biceps, not your... <laughs> Whatever else, it's like all the accessory biceps. Easy, come on. Switching to slightly lower dumbbells because we want to get loads of reps on this. And then Ben's going to spot me for the last couple just to get as much out of the last set as we possibly can. <laughs> couple of circulation, you'll be careful. Yeah, that's actually dangerous. <laughs> Alright, last set, come on. Don't be a big pansy. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Last set. Be strict here. That's it. Get a full extension at the bottom as well. There you go, yeah. Let's go, come on. Come on. Come out of the elbow. Just don't need them out. Come on, let's go. Yeah, yeah. Two more, two more, two more. I'll get the top. Let's go. Go, 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 go. One more. Last one. Come on. Let's go. Push. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. You know what's happening there? I'm coming together. Putting them together, yeah, yeah. It's a little cheat code. Any unilateral thing, like a, a rope push down a curl, when you push the dumbbells or the rope together, yeah. you basically replicate a barbell yeah, yeah, or, yeah. or a machine. You lose the stabilization, your stronger side can dominate and you can get a few more. It's a good way to get a drop set. So you could literally make that into a drop set. Yeah. Same with the push down. You do as many as you can, then when you can't do any more, push them together and you'll get a few more reps out. Oh, oh, flinch, that was a good flinch. Because he knows. The history. Power. Matt's got a he history of violence. That's why. That's anyway, <laughs> cool workout done. It was a good one. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see, or in fact, let us know in the comments what workout do you want to see next. Obviously, we've got legs, we've got arms. There's a whole variety of stuff. So let us know. Do you want to see Ben just get absolutely yeah, brutalised yeah, yeah. in a leg yeah, workout? If you want to see me, be quite funny. You want to see honest. me squat one plate yeah, for like let three us know reps? In the <laughs> now again, just to reinforce, that whole workout was taken from the Morsia app. We have hundreds of workouts, we have hundreds of plans, everything customized to suit you and your needs. So if you found that helpful, that walkthrough style workout, like this is how you do this, this is why you do this, this is how you should look, that is what the app gives you. The app tells you exactly what to do, what exercise to do, how many reps, how many sets, what weight. We show you videos on form, it we tracks have everything. absolutely all of that as well. You get that all in graph yeah. form, your one rep maxes, your rep ranges, everything. It's literally the ultimate lifting tool. All like, you have everything. to do is go to the gym and then we do the rest for, or, I mean, do the work. You've got to we do a lot do of the rest. heavy lifting. We do the rest for you, okay? <laughs> Everything's there for you. So top link in the description. Remember, seven day free trial, nothing to lose. Go and get involved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are done. That is that. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. Go Ooh. and check out Big Ben Morsi on Instagram. Dang it, dang if you are new to the channel, don't do it. If you are new to the <laughs> channel, please subscribe. Yes. Ben little okay, classic. Catch you later. Ben's little classic. Yeah. <laughs> right. That's what I'm talking about. I'm out. That's, that's good enough for me.